Cancer, my friends. Welcome to your end of February 2022 love reading. Today we're doing romantic feelings of the person most in your mind. So we're checking what this person feels for you and how they see you. And then what's the tarot advice for you in this situation, okay? So today we're using the romantic tarot from Emanuela Signorini by Los Carabeo. You can buy it, of course, in the Los Carabeo website or in Amazon, of course, online. And yes, that's it. I love this deck. It's so beautiful. You have scenes from Paris, Rome, Venice and Vienna. And I love it. It's so cute. I love to do love readings with this deck. So today, Cancer, we are diving into the energies around you and the person on your mind. What this person is feeling for you. How they see you. What you should do about this situation. If you want to follow the tarot's advice, of course. And then at the end, we're pulling the... Romans, Angels, Oracle cards for complete your advice here in this situation. Okay, Cancer, so let's do this, baby. How's 2022 going so far for you guys? For me, it's just been very, very hard. Time is going by so fast. Working, working, working. A lot of confusion. Fusion, retrogrades, and full moons, and new moons, and oh Jesus, oh Jesus, please take the wheel. Great, so universe, please give us six cards to reveal the romantic feelings of the person most in Cancer's mind. bottom of the deck eight of cups hmm. okay so the person most in your mind cancer what they do they feel for you four of swords page of swords and ace of wands <laughs> okay I see passion. I see party and getting together. I see it's so hard when I have this combination. I'm always confused, but I don't want to give you the wrong, wrong message because because this deck has almost a broken sword, a banded sword, but you can consider it banded or it's just the model of the sword. There, there is like more of a ceremonial sword than a fighting sword, right? And candles, three candles. Okay. And I also see here, four, three, one. And based on this four, three, one, I will tell you 
cancer that this person is it's really it's really passionate about you okay they feel a lot of passion for you but also this passion is a little bit of um how can i say mm. they want to steal you from the scene and take you to their bedroom so their feeling is like it's a little bit they're like you know a little bit ego egoist oh my god it's not egotistical possessive that's it that's possessive they want they, they are saying why my cancer is here you know partying and dancing with everybody when all I want is to take them and have them for me but not only in my bed because you know here you have fields you have crops you have a beautiful snow uh, pet over here and here is fall it's almost the four seasons so this person is very passionate but this passion is not only based I mean it's not based only on lust you know of course passion is always a little bit of lust right it's a bit of sex and stuff but this person wants this passion to last you know the whole year long which means that the passion is only the beginning of your relationship okay because this one over here it's like you know to the wall and in this wall you have all this four seasons over here so this is a very good sign let's say that this person don't want to you know share you with other people that's how they feel they don't want to share you with other people they want to have you all to themselves give you a lot of passion and be with you uh, all year long all seasons and for a long time okay how do they see you they see you <laughs> They see you as someone, you know, a little bit naive, uh, with your head in the clouds, passionate, you know. Um, and as I am Italian, I I can say, you know, you're the kind of girl that is. It's a guy. It's a guy comes to you and he's not right. You just, you know, you just pull his hair, right? You 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 stand up for yourself. At the same time that you know you're very easygoing and you're you know open to to new adventures and you can you know laugh and play and be very light you're always standing for yourself and your friends you know it's just like it takes you a second to you know transform yourself so maybe they see you as a person that it's it, it you go from forex from extremes a little bit maybe maybe <laughs> what is the advice of the tarot for you cancer well two of cups so you are here with your cup you know with your mask in venice sitting in this well you know but there's a lot another person here in the well wishing for you and he has another cup so maybe if you could just uh, be in the same wishing well and drink your cups together and get together so the universe is telling you to you know don't uh, don't wear your mask you know look around and you will find someone to share that perfect cup with because you know you don't need to share your cup with a lot of people and indulge you see, there's one person here that is the right one for you, for you to share your cup with, okay? And it's the right one. So, the energy right now is that you're a little bit, you know, around and, and indulging with other people, but your advice is to concentrate in this person because it will be a much more... Uh, important and powerful you know have the lion here the Venice lion here 
much more powerful couple, you know, a powerful uh, um, union, okay? Because see, in your wishing well, you don't have a lion, but this person does have a lion. So, you know, great. I think we got this. So let's go to the Romance Angel Oracle cards and see what is going on over here. So Romance Angels, give us some advice to Cancer regarding the situation and the person most on their mind. Two cards, one card from the deck and the other one from the bottom of the deck. Give us some advice, please. Here we go. Oops, um, let's take it. It fell. Okay, so. Understand this someone from your past is returning in the bottom of the deck so yes this guy is coming from behind to join you with your cup okay thank you angels and playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine yes because he is here is saying right this person sees you at this this playful and young person, you know, with a smile on, on, on his face and, you know, just enjoying life, you know. A foot in the table in the clouds and another foot, you know, and a dove, like ready to fly, right? So, that's it, Cancer. Thank you very much for sharing your time with me. I hope you liked that and I hope it was useful in any way. See you next time. Bye-bye.